I knew that I was the first, but I didn't want to be the only one and I didn't want to be the last. Welcome to Islam Channel Meets. I'm Mars Obrogi and I'm super excited to be joined by Janella Massa, who is Canada's first hijab wearing national TV news host. Mashallah. Hello, Janella. Hello. Thanks so much for having me. Where did the passion and love for being a journalist, you know, wanting to find stories and be involved in the media come from? I take people back to the third grade. <laughs> I was that kid in school who wouldn't stop talking. Um, you know, I, that would be the number one comment that I would get on my report cards from my teachers. Janelle is a good student, but she talks too much when she's not supposed to. I put all that talking to good use. I was in the school plays and uh, particularly in the third grade, I was in a speech competition and uh, that I won. You know, it was the first time that I realized, you know, I could talk in, in, in an interesting way and capture an audience's attention and people were, were actually listening. And it was my mom who actually suggested that maybe I wanted to pursue a career in broadcast television. You know, even at, at nine years old, wearing a hijab, thinking that maybe there wasn't place, a place for someone like me on TV just because I'd never seen it. Uh, but she told me, no, you know, don't diminish your dreams or don't change them because just because, you know, it hasn't been done before, it doesn't mean you can't do it my Muslim identity was something I could be proud of and it wasn't at odds with my Canadian identity. In 2015 then, you were reportedly the first TV news reporter in North America to wear a hijab on air as a video journalist for CTV News. Tell me about that moment, you know, how was it um, as an experience and, and also were you aware of the, uh, the first that you were part of? Really exciting and really scary. <laughs> um, you know, I was you know, just as a young journalist making that career change, I'd been working behind the scenes um, for, you know, three or four years and making that jump to on air, you know, is an exciting thing for any young journalist uh, in your career. And people would come up to me and say, oh, you're the girl, you're the new girl on the news. We love watching you. You're doing such a great job. And that was so encouraging and heartening because I realized that people for the most part were able to see past what I had chosen to wear and actually judge me as a journalist. And, you know, the same is said now that I'm, you know, on a national stage, I'm introducing myself, myself to a national audience across Canada. Um, and again, for the most part, people have really resonated with, you know, the show that we're doing and the content and uh, the segments and beyond, you know, this headline of first hijab wearing anchor, they're sending me messages and saying, hey, we really love your show. We really love um, you know, the segments that you're doing. And that really is heartening for me. You've continued to have um, other firsts, you know, including the first Muslim woman in hijab to ever anchor a major newscast in Canada. And now you'll become the first hijab wearing national TV news host in Canada. I immediately think like trailblazer, you know, what does this all mean to you? Exciting. And there's also a lot of pressure that comes along with it. Um, you know, you feel like you have to represent your community well. Um, also feeling like, you know, there's not a lot of room for failure. There's not a lot of room to be mediocre. Um, people will question and criticize my position in this role. And I feel like I can't give them any space to criticize at least my work. I knew that I was the first, but I didn't want to be the only one and I didn't want to be the last. And so for me, you know, it's more than just, um, you know, being this face, uh, you know, in front of the screen for me i've always also advocated for diversity and representation in the newsroom period both on screen and behind the scenes because i think that it's so important for us to for our newsrooms to reflect our society you know canada is one of the most diverse countries in the world but you wouldn't know it from looking at canadian media so for me this has always been um why it's so important for me to be in this space and to also um be an advocate for bringing more representation into the newsroom. 